Yo, what's going on everybody? Uh, back in the shop. I'm gonna work on the LS today. Uh, before anybody says anything, yes, I have been wearing the exact same outfit in all of these videos the past like few days working on this car. And it's because this is my go-to like just get nasty in outfit. So yeah, these sweatpants, yes, I rewear them. This hoodie I rewear, but I, I promise you, I do do laundry. Um, it's just, I'm not gonna wear like clean clothes to come and fucking sand shit, but anyways, um, we finished off yesterday's video with putting a layer of primer on here and just kind of seeing where everything was at. Not as close as I had hoped. Um, it's not bad in any way. It is pretty decent actually, but, um, the front still needs a bunch of work to get close to the rear and the rear still needs a bunch of work in general. So I'm not as close as I hoped I was and... That's okay. It just means today's video is gonna be a lot more sanding, basically. Um, we're at the point now where it's just sanding. And I apologize if the videos get boring, um, but this is just part of it. it. Has to be done, so yeah. Okay, so as you can see in the front, um, I took the primer off of this edge. Basically, this is gonna be a bunch more sanding on here. I want this more defined than it is. The curve in the corner, I'm actually like pretty fucking happy with. Um, so that I'm gonna try and leave alone because I don't wanna fuck it up and have to do it again. This, all this though, I need to shape more. Um, I need more of a defined edge right here so that it matches the rear. But uh, yeah, first things first, I do need to take the all of this primer back off of it. But yeah, the rear's not looking too bad. Um, all of this looks awesome, so I'm happy with that. Um, this is still eh, somewhat inconsistent. Like this right here is good all the way through to here, so I need to do that some more. Um, and then it's really just like this, to be honest, it's not 100%. I don't know, I can't really tell. Like. It might be the primer making it look that way. I don't know. It feels like it's pretty decent. Um, so maybe the rear doesn't need as much work as I thought, but one of the things that I do need to address in the rear is that this right here doesn't have a defined edge like it does here because um, when we welded in the door jam piece, all of this kind of got a little bit messed up, like it got welded and then grinded down and I wasn't able to, you know, retain that line. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know whether it's worth me, like these little spots, like this one right here and this one right here, if I should take the grinder to those lightly and just kind of smooth them out and then use Bondo to basically just like get this as one kind of smooth piece and gradient into this line. I feel like that's my best option because I'm not gonna be able to like save this or you know, it's not worth my time to go through and try and recreate this fucking line out of Bondo. It's just like, it's not worth it. So I think that might be my best option is to try and take these two spots right here down and then just get this as like smooth as I can. Um, but big thing is that I wanna be careful to not like affect any of this because I've put so much time into getting that right that I don't wanna have to redo it again. So yeah, other spots on this, I mean really like it's got little like holes and shit in it. Um, it needs like a finishing glaze, honestly, uh, all of it does but I'm not super worried about that yet because I wanna make sure that everything is how I want it to be first. But it's not looking too, too bad and I really can't tell if it's the primer that makes it look inconsistent or not, but uh, this middle section looks somewhat like decent. Like I'm, I'm not mad about that middle section, um, but this over here kind of just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't look quite right. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of sanding.
So yeah, I've got a really small amount of Bondo. Um, just going to apply it over these areas that I shaved down and hopefully I can get it to sit smooth. Obviously it taped off this nice edge so it doesn't get fucked up. But uh, yeah, hopefully. this yet. I don't know why I hadn't done this yet but sticking a piece in between this door gap and just using it to like sand the gap open better. Why had I not thought of doing this? Because there's definitely like spots where it's like really tight. Okay as you can see this is now a little better than it was. This line is still to find all through here and then like this part right here is where it basically just starts to fade away. Hopefully, um, after I spray some primer on it, hopefully it looks more the way that I wanted it to. Um, I don't particularly want to have to shave like more away right here just because, you know, it's going to start getting pretty thin and I'm not really trying to risk that. So, so spraying primer wasn't a complete waste because it's actually serving as like a guide coat now. Um, I'm able to really see where the high and low spots are. Um, obviously I can see on the quarter, these spots where metal starts showing is like basically where I need to stand too. So once I reach that, like I need to stop on the rest of this to avoid any of the waves showing through. Um, and then, yeah, basically any, I guess low spots is where there is primer. Somewhat decent, I almost feel like I need to like, I don't know, like here, I like the way that transition feels. I like, I like how it feels, but like, I mean like right there, but then as you get into this, it just feels like there's, there needs to be more in the middle. Um, so I may actually end up doing another layer in that middle bit and then sanding it back and uh yeah this is a process but the the primer is at least kind of giving me a helping hand and allowing me to see where i'm at okay so after looking at it from like a bunch of different angles running my hands all over it i'm actually fairly happy with the way that it is um i said that i was probably going to put a little bit more in the middle but I actually don't want to i actually i really like the way that it looks and flows right now um so what i'm gonna do probably spray another layer of primer on the rear so i can get a better look at it and hopefully we'll get it like decently smooth um and then we'll do some more work on the front this shit's looking rather sick i mean you can kind of see a few little spots where it might be a little low but like seeing it like that with somewhat of a light reflection off of it is great because I can see how it's going to look when it's done and like dude I couldn't be fucking happier with that like that is so sick um there's some spots where it looks like there's like low spots up here I, th they're not it's just the different um like some of it is exposed metal that's really smooth and then some of it's rough. So it just looks a little funky. I promise you it is actually flat, but looking at the curve of the flat like that, literally looks so fucking good. I'm very stoked, but bad news, this right here. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's still there, which means I'm gonna have to shave that more still. Um, the only other option would be to build higher on top of it, which I don't particularly want to do, um, but I can't have this um, when it's finished. Like I can't have that weird just like gap there, gap there. Like it just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to try and do, I guess, again, is just shave it some more. Um, maybe I will... Shit, I don't even know. 
I don't really know what to do with this because I thought I'd shaved it enough and it's sketching me out having to like shave it more because I don't want it to, you know, get too thin and come through. I don't know. I think for the time being, I'm going to leave it and come back to it and go on to the front, but I'm very happy to, you know, see this like this and be able to like actually see the shape of that. All right, now I can see it with the wheel on there and a the door handle. Pretty fucking sweet. Oof. Man, I, I can't wait to get my fucking wheels and see them with this shit. Like actually having the fitment that I want, I cannot wait. All right, knocked down some of the primer on the front and as you can see, you could tell where some of the uh, low and high spots were which is nice. Um, really, I was just trying to get this edge a little bit more defined. Um, it's not gonna be as defined as the rear just because the angles are different. This kind of slopes off more like that, whereas the rear goes further, you know, more straight down just because of the way the flare is mounted on each panel. You know, that's more of a vertical body panel. This one has like more of a slope to it and that's kind of just how it's gonna be. Um, so, that's about as defined as it's gonna get. Um, I may knock this down a little bit further, but I'm not mad at where it's at right now, to be honest. Um, it looks pretty decent. Um, I don't even know why I bothered to try and show you from this angle, because you literally, yeah, you can't fucking, yeah, you can't see it, like, at all. But, um, yeah, I'll probably knock that down a little bit more, see if we can get more angle out of it. Um, so it's not so like completely soft, but I'll be completely honest. I'm just really like not feeling it today. I exhausted myself yesterday and today like my arms hurt, my fingers and my thumbs really, really hurt. And I just like, I don't feel like sanding. I don't feel like doing this. Um, so I apologize that I'm going to like cut this video somewhat short, but before I end the video, I can at least, I don't know, talk about something else. Okay, I am absolutely covered in dust, but two weeks, well, I guess it's just over a week from when you're watching this video. Slammed enough Nashville, um, I'm gonna be there, gonna be a vendor, and I am dropping all new stuff. Um, I figured since usually I would do like, you know, maybe one or two new things and then it would just be like a restock of other stuff. Well, it's a new year and uh, I've been running the same designs for a while. Starting to get to a point where they're a little stale. Um, I'm not stopping doing all of these designs. Uh, I'm still gonna restock Drive and Shoot. I'm still gonna restock Bipu style. Um, the fitment shirt is actually coming back for Nashville, but the color is changing. Um, so instead of the red, it's that gold, as you can see. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd just mix it up. And that way, anytime I do restocks, I end up kind of sitting on stuff for a little bit longer because so many people already have that design. And I would rather put new stuff out and sell more of it so that we can keep cash flow coming and we can put more money towards new designs, new things, projects, growing the brand, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, new stuff for Nashville. Very excited about it. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, I've had like quite a few of these designs just chilling for a minute. And there is more stuff that I haven't revealed yet that is potentially happening. I don't know yet. Um, I'm trying to work on these really, really cool uh, I don't want to say like what it is, but I'm trying to work on this really, really cool thing. And unfortunately there is one distributor for this product in the U S and I've applied to get the wholesale pricing and I'm just waiting to hear back and I don't have much time. So I'm really hoping that it pans out and I'm able to do them. If not, uh, I'm going to do somewhat of a compromise, but the only thing I will tell you is that I'm finally going to put the Rose logo on something. So, the plan was I was going to do it on shirts and then something else that's like really, really cool. Uh, I don't know if that something else that's really, really cool is going to happen now just because I don't know if I have the time. But if I can make it happen in the near future, I will. Hoping for Nashville, at least I'm going to do the shirts. Um, so stay tuned for those and come to Nashville, obviously, to grab one of those. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. My hands are fucking killing me. They're so dry. It's ridiculous. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but yeah, guys, 
I will be uploading content next weekend. Not LS content. We're going to have a little bit of a gap in content. Um, I wanted to come over here and get more like work. Fuck me, there's dust everywhere. I wanted to come over here during the week and get as much stuff done on the car as I possibly could. But just after the way that I'm feeling right now, I kind of don't really want to. Um, and so I may postpone coming back over here and doing more work on the car for a little bit. Uh, we'll see though. I'd really like to get this thing back down on the ground soon and driving. Um, but yeah, I still have to do the rest of the bodywork on the front, which is not going to be that much on the other side. Um, and then I still have to do a bunch of like shaving. I have to seal the inside on the other side in the back and then do all of the bodywork on that side. And so that's going to take a little bit and also, you know, finishing up all of this, getting it cleaned up and then. You know, I'm still waiting around for wheels, the kit to come back in, and then once the kit's back in, then I can work on those skirts. There's just so much stuff that has to be done, and I know for a fact, when the car is done, unfortunately, there's gonna be a whole bunch of maintenance shit that needs to be done on the car, which I'm not very happy about, but it is what it is, and it has to be done. Uh, wheel bearings. I'm pretty sure all of them are like, shot now. And I don't know why they seem to be okay before it came into storage, but I have checked like all of these hubs, they are fucked. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to replace all of the wheel bearings, which is just like such a pain in the ass. Um, this shit's just gonna take time and money and that's just how it goes. And so any deadline that I had is out the window. There is no deadline for finishing this car. I would really just, I, I it needs to be moving by the time that I go to Chattanooga. And if it works out that I go and drop it off for paint just before I move, that's perfect because then I don't have to worry about it. Um, but it has to be able to move <laughs> by the time I move to Chattanooga, which is in July or August. So yeah, we'll see what ends up happening. Um, but yeah, sorry to disappoint guys. This car is not gonna be ready anytime soon. It's just, it sucks. Trust me, it's, this has been much longer process than I wanted it to be, but you know, there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. Um, I'm doing what I can and what I can afford to do. So yeah, if I had endless supplies of money for you guys buy more stuff and we grow huge, then yeah, I can afford to like finish it really quickly, but it's not gonna happen right now. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Peace.